Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing Merry Marvelite stream! As you can see, uh, we are again continuing our adventure as Rick, the hero lost in the land of Koholint Island, on a journey to wake the windfish and escape from this, well, it's kind of a paradise actually, it's pretty nice. You know, cute girls, goofy monkeys, lots of good stuff going on here. But still, we're going to keep playing this game. We're at level 4, Anglish Tunnel. Right at Ang Tunnel? Yeah, whatever it was. Right at the beginning of it. Today we're actually going to try and make some progress. As the goddess is my witness, we're going to uh, get a couple of dungeons. Hey, Jakester, thank you for the host. Awesome, my dude. How you doing today? Uh, so, is this... Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, that should be good. Okay. Cool. How you doing, Jakester? We're at level four today. Let me get my controls back. Here we go. Okay. Now what I don't know. And this is the shieldy? That's it. Okay. And this is the runny. All right. Never call that the runny again. Let's see. I'm doing quite well today. Thank you for asking and thank you for joining me. Let's see here. We're here in this, uh, this moist little dungeon, making our way through. I can't swim yet! Dang it. Back into the swing of things, that's what we gotta do. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Mostly figuring out which button is which. Let's see, what's over here? Yeah. There's a treasure chest, and I want its contents. It's the Beaky Boo. Alright, that's good. That'll do us. That'll do us a good. Let's have a little poke around. Let's have a peek and a poke and see what shakes out. Hey look, another treasure chest. That's what I want. Hey look, the map. This is going remarkably well. Press minus to look at the map. Yep. Excellent. Okay. I don't suppose I can leap this, can I? Whoa! Oh! Oh, I could. What do you know? I'm very good. Smashing! Play it, Bogart! Thank you for the subscription! That's awesome, my dude! How you doing? Enjoy your Iron Man helmet next to your name. Lurking with spot style. Well, I've yet to see you do something that hasn't been with copious amounts of style. By the way, if you guys are not following Play It Bogart on Twitch, do it, because that dude is awesome. There we go. Let's slash these guys up. Is this gonna do anything for me? Oh, I can probably bomb this, though. That's probably gonna get me through there. Is the explodies gonna work? Yes, they are! What do you know? Give that a shove. Yes! Give me the key to unlock my destiny and probably a door. Uh, is there any reason to keep slashing at these guys? These, what are these? Pea hats? That's what these are called, right? I know my Zorolda. I've, I've played a Zorolda or two in my time. That fantastic hero with the green tunic Zelda. Always going on his remarkable adventures to save Princess What's-Her-Face, I don't remember. It's probably not important. She's not in this game anyway. Oh god, I drowned. Let's explode this and get some more yeah, chesticles for my inventory. Another key. I'm just getting a horde of these now. That's what I like. Now, now that I've got a couple of keys added to the pile, let's look around somewhere else. Alright, can I do this again? Fra! Look at that. Straight Spider-Manning this. Woo! Or, you know, more like Bat Rock, because that was a leap, but... You guys know Bat Rock, right? right? French supervillain? He's known for leaping. Martial arts, I guess, but he's not known for martial arts. Bloody hell, every, everyone in a superhero universe can do a little bit of martial arts, otherwise what are they even doing? There's a door there that I didn't go through. That's where I can go. Batrock the Leaper? He was actually in, um... Uh... Ah! Damn it. Alright, let me get over you. Uh... 
yeah, Batrock the Leaper was actually in Captain America the Winter Soldier. He's the dude that Captain America fought on the boat. So, you know, kind of a, a bit of a reputation for being a slightly lame villain in the comics. Although, you know, he's... Despite having, like, a lame gimmick of just being, like, pretty acrobatic and pretty good at martial arts, like, he's a decent enough fighter. So... I, th I think um, it's mostly like his costume is a bit silly and his whole gimmick is a little... Like everything about him is just kind of a little bit silly, even though he is, as I said, a formidable fighter. So, on, uh, yeah, in Winter Soldier, they basically just threw him into the MCU so we could have like one good fight scene with Cap and that kind of worked out. Okay, there's a door there, there's a door here as well. Um, one's locked, I'm going to go through the unlocked one first. Oh, that's not what I wanted! You all need to be immediately dead um, with the quickness. Wait, I can smash these. There we go. Get those out of the way. Give me this key! Sword and shield on spines. Yes! That's what I need to do. It's having a... I needed to jump over it so I could, like, get the shield on him. Or I suppose I could have probably shielded him from there, but whatever. My plan worked, too. It's all good. Everything is... Oh, I... ah! oh larb. Ha! There we go. Excellent. Now I can open this door, and I've got a key to spare. This is going great! Ooh, 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 there's another thing over there. I can't get that yet, can I? I can go across here. Oh, get off me! Get off! Get off, you little shizers! Little sticky poopy boys. Okay, okay, okay. Can I... Oh, damn it. Come on, Batra. Let's leap. Uh ha! -huh. There we go. I was gonna say I knew I could make the distance, but I did it the other way. Give me the triangle of strength, so I can mash these enemies. There we go. Can I push this out of the way, please? Oh, for God's sake! Well. There we go. You know what? Damn it. Can I not throw that over? Oh, son of a beasting. There we go. Ugh, these guys are not tough, but that one was just a little bit annoying since he was on the other side of that whole thing. I can go this way, though. Um, do I want to go there yet? Well, let's have a peek and see what we find. Ooh, side-scrolling! Platforming in a Zelda game. Here we go. I'm going to drown down there if I fall, I bet. Am I? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, I can't do anything down here yet, then. Oh, God! Okay. So I'm assuming I'll, leave, I'll probably drop down there at some point after I get the swim -a jigs by which I mean the flippers. Okay. There's something in here. And there it goes. Oh, that probably landed in the water. You need the flippers. Yeah, the swim -a jigs That's what I was saying. You say flippers, I say swim -a jigs Which I'm sure I'll find soon. Oh, okay, no, that's deep water. Let's go down this way instead. Um... Hello, bird statue. The glint of the tile will be your guide. Thank you, bird statue! Jeez. Get away! Get out of here. Good eye. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh boy. Oh boy. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. We're good for nothing. Huh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh god, P hats. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey look, a thing. God, I'm so good at combat. Uh, the second I brag, I get a sword to the face. Of course. Here. I was a man! A blob man! Not something I would like to deal with right now. No, no I must say, it is not. It's over here. Hmm. 
I can't make that jump. That's the boss door, so I don't need that yet. That's gonna be like the final location to hit. Obviously. Oh. 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 Flippers for this? I might. Fantastic! Holy hell, what just happened? An anonymous gifter gifted five tier one subs to the community? Thank you very much, anonymous gifter. That is incredibly generous of you. So now, Fantastic. Rio has a sub. Khaki Bird Legs has a sub. Simone Game G has a sub. Pimpila5 is now subscribed, and so is Curtis1984. Thank Fantastic. you very much, Anonymous Gifter. That is very awesome of you. And it also nearly takes out the current Kingpin, so... Uh, if anyone wants to knock out the Kingpin and take his place, now would be the time to sing. Like, no one ever needs to donate or anything, but now is the time when it would be really easy. Holy crap, Jakester was just anonymously gifted a sub as well. Congratulations, dude. And, oh, whoever did that just put Fantastic. you as the new Kingpin, Jakester. Remember to uh, use your new power responsibly. Not that I actually warrant any power to the Kingpin. I don't think I really can, but, you know, have fun running the criminal em enterprise. That for legal reasons, I can't get involved in that aspect of it. But yes, and now Jakester also has the Iron Man helmet next to his name. The old Mark I there. It's excellent. Awesome. Hope you enjoy it. Jakester, thank you for the bits as well. Very generous, my dude. Thank you. All right, now let's open. Oh my goodness! I got another key. Excellent. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Let's not go that way. Hey, Blue, how's it going? Thank you for joining me. Let's see. I'm convinced this is a thing I need to do in order, but I don't think I can do it yet because I think I need the flippers. Because it seems like that's the first one, obviously. But the second one is one I can't get to without using the flippers. Like, I can get to it, but I've got to hit that one on the way. So without the flippers, it doesn't really work. That's my thinking at the moment. Let's consult the map. There's a locked door right there that I have not gone through, and I have a key. So that's probably what I should be doing. All right, so if I go, can I get there? I hope so. Because that is my current idea. That is what I think I can do. There's also a door there that I can't get to because I need to swim. I need to do the swim swamming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Out of my way. Excuse me. I have to get through. Thank you. Ah, there we go. I just straight up didn't... Well, I didn't go through that door because I figured I'd go through the non-locked doors first, but I guess this is the place where I need to hit next. Will I find flippers? Good lord, I hope so. Let me in. Thank you, door. Oh god, it's a mini boss. Well, that's a good sign, though. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Oh boy, 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 oh boy. It's a big warder sporter. It's a warder sporter. Okay. Ah! It turned around. I didn't expect that. Oh god. What if I use bombs? Stopped it for a second. There we go. Oh crap, 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 crap. 
Oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just keep on running. Keep on running. I'm just fast enough that I can kind of keep up to him like this. And then, actually, I grunted for this. Why don't I just use it? There we go. I did the damn crane game enough times to get the stupid bow and arrow. I might as well use it now that it's going to come in useful. Shoot this guy in the ace! Look at that. Oh god, he turned around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh Jiminy Christmas. Here we be. Oh, I missed. Okay, come here, you. Ah, damn it. Three arrows left. I missed. Hawkeye. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Even the old Kate Bishop. Oh god, he turned around. An intense strategy for which I was not prepared in that moment, but... Adapt, overcome, shoot your opponent in the ass with an arrow. That's what I always say. I'm out of arrows. I should have aimed... Oh, God, he turned around again. Jiminy Christmas. This is probably supposed to be a really easy fight. And it probably could be if I just nutted up and actually did it properly. But here we go. Okay, okay. Huh. Huh. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Okay. Ha! Huh. Oh crap! Oh, I should have went for the swing instead of the boop boop. Oh my god! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is oh god, dang it! I to get the drop on him, but he did that whole thing where he turned around again. I have an idea. Put that there. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping to trap him between two bombs, but they explode too fast. It was a valiant effort. Oh, no! Oh, damn it. No! There we go. Oh, God, he... How were you not dead? I have slashed your butt so many times. He's got buns of steel, this spider. Not really spider. How many legs does he have? Like, six? Tops? Let me take a little gnat or something? How many legs do gnats have? I don't know. Oh god, are you dead yet? Jesus! He's so strong! This guy sunk all of his points into defense. Alright, 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 alright. Come here, come here. Ha! Yes! Victory for Rick! That's what I named Link in this playthrough, by the way, Rick. Uh, do I have a Bortle? Do I have empty Bortle? I've got a Bortle, but I've got a furry in the Bortle. Why do I say words that way? Because it amuses me, and likely know what- Oh, God! Okay. I thought I was gonna get squishy late for a second there. Alright. Okay. Out of the way, dude. Alright, let me through. Hey, look, a thing! That's probably- Oh, God, get off! Get off! You little red buttheads! Thank you! Give me this. Flip-flops? Yes, the swim of jigs He must be used to being stabbed in the east. I mean... I'm not judging, you know? Whatever you're into, dude. I mean, I I, I understand it. I, I get it. I get, I'm not going to say I don't get it. Oh, a Helmer, Helmer rocks? Is that what these guys are called? I don't remember. Oh. Uh, can I kill you? Yes, I can. Oh, I got the helmet thing. Eh, there we go. Not that hard to kill. You just slash them in the back. They're kind of adorable, though. Oh, uh, balls. Uh, uh, there you go. Here we go. These are telling me which one is which. Va va voom! Okay, awesome. Ah, greenies! Oh god, oh god, oh crap. Let's look this way. Hang on, okay. Now that I've got all the things, let me hit up the next couple of treasure chests. You get it? I mean, I haven't indulged, but I understand. I see the appeal. Maybe it's not for me. I don't know. But I'm not judging. That's for sure. Let's see. Uh, okay, so now that I've got the flippy flops, I could, should be able to get some stuff like this over here. For, for instance. Oh my god. Give me this. That's some money. Well, that'll do. Very nice. Um, and... Okay. Oh, oh god, my god. Don't get overzealous and get killed by the things in the water when you can't hit them back. Oh, boy. Come here. 
Can I dive? Is there a dive button? Nope. Once that money sinks, it's just gone forever. Unless I can learn to dive later, which I probably can. I don't have the key for this yet. There's a thing here, and there's a thing here. Okay. Oh, that one is down. Or I have to go... Oh, wait! I remember a thing! But first I'm gonna go get this one, because I think I can get that. Um... Easier to warp to the beginning and then go get that. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. Sometimes. More or less. A little bit. Just enough to fake it at the very... Ugh, you stupid. Alright, let me out of the water. Where's the warp and the bob? Through here. Give me this. Might as well. Power up my sword for some time that it probably won't matter because I doubt it's going to come up. Alright, let me warp him into... Warpulate. One to warp up, Mr. Sulu. There we go. Or warp south, I guess. I'm not really going up anywhere. Um, right, so over here... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here and there it is. Ah, you piece of garbage. It's probably just going to be more money. I don't know if this one is necessary because I know where there's a key. Yeah, more money. I'll take it. Use that and I'll blow that in the cream game trying to get more statues. Ooh, a furry. Ah! Red piece of crap. Yeah. Ah, get off me. Get off. Sticky wicket. Okay. Um, so... Now. Yeah, just go straight north from here. This is good. Ah! Okay. I'm not gonna shove this, right? Yeah. You get out of my... Oh, you butt. Uh. Uh. Okay. And green boy has to get out of the way as well. It just wanted a hug. I mean, probably, but... We, we we did come in here with murderous intent in the first place, so... Eh, can I... Eh. Oh, no, I've got to... Okay, I can't jump down and... Oh, God, my foot is asleep. Mostly because I was sitting on it. My foot is asleep, not a seat. Oh, God. Oh, come on, foot, wake up. Oh, there we go. Ugh. You ever notice when a part of your body falls asleep, it feels like what TV static looks like? I don't know how else to describe that. Aha! Got the key. Now! I knew that was gonna happen. I came down here. I saw the hint earlier. See? My clever brain figured out what was gonna happen. Beware of face huggers. I think we'll be alright. I don't think they're gonna show up in this game. Now, if anyone just wants a hug, it's a face hugger. It's what happens afterwards that's the problem. Um. So, I guess I'll go through that lock block. Uh, that goes through the stairwell, and it'll lead... Okay, so it'll probably... That other... That other chesticle is probably the boss key, so I'm probably going to have to go up and get that, and then go back down, and then go to the boss door. See? Plans are made and abound. Let me see. And... Eh, run! Okay, where am I getting... Uh, where is the thing? It's over here. Okay, I see where it is. They lead to chest bursters. Exactly! The aliens have a really violent life cycle. It's, it's kind of weird. It's almost like it's designed solely for the purpose of being creepy. But, I mean, it works. Like most things in movies, the logic starts to break down if you look at it too much. Can I use my sword underwater? Good lord, I can. I can slash cheap cheeps to death. Someone get Mario a sword. So he can do this. Oh my god. This is payback for all the anxiety these stupid fish caused me in Super Mario Bros. 1 on the NES. Now I just get to slash them in the face with a sword. And it's so good. Alright, well now I'm in here, but I don't need to be here yet. Sindel is playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, and they're an amazing, beautiful person. I just wanted to say that out loud. Ugh. Ah! Oh, God in heaven. Ah! Ah! There we go. 
You have one and two, you think maybe three as well, and Pred one and two, and AVP. Uh, first alien is classic horror, second alien is classic sci-fi action, um, third one is not good. Uh, Predator one, great. Predator two, okay. Uh, AVP, I didn't much care for, but it is kind of dumb fun, so whatever. I don't hate that one. Overall, pretty decent track record. I don't have the boss key. I'm betting this is it. But how do I get there? What did I miss? There's got to be another stairway somewhere. For me to get there, then. Oh, Sindel is here. Hello. Let you drop in and uh, I didn't I said that fully not expecting you to ever hear it but here you are let you drop in and chill on this gold Saturday well thank you very much for joining me Sindel the lovely queen let's see here how fortuitous got a box set for Christmas on uh, or birthday one year I can never remember which oh yes yes it's good stuff let me see um where the hell am I going now? I gotta get this thing here. How do I... Ooh, wait, hang on. Ah, you piece of garbage. I see a... Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember something. I remember a thing. Get out of, get out of my way. Stupid pea hats. Where, where is the... Where is the... Where, there, here. This is the... Ow, piece of... Ow. Yeah, get off my ass. No bueno. This is the room. I forgot about this. Huh? No? Okay. I just gotta remember the order on this one, I guess. Could hurt you by watching after scene. True. But I don't expect anyone to actually watch these. I'm extremely fortunate to have you guys come and uh, hang out with me, and it is always appreciated. That'll do. There's the stairwell. That'll get me where I'm going. I figured it out. Ooh, look at this eyeball boy. Hello. Oh, why are you staring at me like... Oh, eh. He's just waiting. Oh, look at him. He thought he was so freaking smooth that he was going to... Oh, I missed him. Oh, son of a bitch. He's kind of cute. Until he's like, ah, I'm going to get you. You're not going to get me. Need to watch the stream? Have I played the original? I have, but it has been quite a while. So I remember how it begins, and I remember the ending for it, but I don't remember all, like, the dungeon layouts and stuff. So this stream, ideally, I'm going to be hitting... I'm going to be... Oh my god! I'm going to be finishing this, hopefully, along with... I'm going to try and do the color dungeon, and then we're going to move on to level 5, and try and beat that tonight as well, but we'll see how we do. I'm making decent time in this one, though. How do I... Ah! Uh, okay, so I, that hurts me, hitting the side of that. Ow. Hmm. I want to get on top of you. That sounded weird, but I'm not taking it back. Okay. Yeah. Do I have another item that would be useful here? I don't think so. I'm enjoying this version immensely, actually. I've, uh, I've said in a previous stream that one of the biggest improvements to this version is just the virtue of having so many more buttons means that not everything needs to be mapped to just two. Because whereas in the original one, your sword, your shield, all of your items, um, the boots, like pretty much everything that you would use was mapped to, you could set to A and B, but then you would have to switch out so you could only equip two things at a time. This one, you have, like, the two things you can equip, but on top of that, you always have your sword, your shield, the boots, that kind of thing, uh, ready to button press. So, make him drop, uh, run up the ladder and jump. That's fun. Okay. Let me try it in that specific order. Oh, there we go. Okay. That worked out better. Thank you, Blue. Okay, here we go. Now I get the key. I got a key! Now we're going to slay the nightmare. I do kind of love the fact that uh, the bosses are called nightmares in this game! Alright, so now I can get my booty oh, over to the boss again. Get off my ace! 
Ah, dang it. Here we go. Love the art style. It is adorable. Oh, Blue's making food? Okay. You guys are using the same account. Uh, sorry to keep track. Okay. I'll, I'll, just refer to, I'll refer to you as Blue and Cat, collectively, if I don't know who's talking. Uh, but I appreciate both of you uh, hanging out. But yes, as I was saying, I do... The, the art style for this game is kind of perfect for uh, for what it is. Uh, let's see here. Um, where was I going? I think I passed it. Yes, I gotta go through this door over here. But yes, it is quite adorable and quite pretty, and I like the whole, um... Everything almost has kind of a toy box aesthetic to it. Like, it has a little bit of a plasticky look, but it's almost like it's on purpose. Like, it's, uh, like you're looking at little figures in a diorama a lot of the time, and it's really cool. Especially works out with the, uh... Um, Amiibo figure being very much that because this Amigo Amiibo is very much um, intentionally smoother and shinier than other Amiibo to uh, emulate the look of this game as well. Say this being logged in twice almost blue agrees with the art style. Oh, no worries, uh, cat. Whatever makes it easier for you guys to, uh, to enjoy the stream, you go ahead and uh, rock it your way. As I said, I always appreciate you hanging out in any capacity. Definitely getting that feel. Absolutely. I love it! Slashy, slashy. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Cool. Alright. Hmm. I locked a door. I probably gotta go down here and fight a boss and then come back up. Oh boy. Oh, it's a side-scrolly boss, isn't it? Oh, oh boy. Oh, here... Oh, you're an ugly son of a beach. Bloop, bloop, glob, glob, oak, foot, bloop, glob. <laughs> Ankle fish. All right. Oh, God. Ah, gotcha. Ah, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Eh, can I? Eh, there we go. Oh, I'm going to get you. This guy's going to be easier than the spider. You just watch. Oh crap, there's more than one. He's calling friends. Oh god. Oh dear. There we go. Ha! Eat. Ma! Blade! Yeah, take it, big boy. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many little fishies. Ah, gotcha. Ha! Eh? Ha! I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah! Ah! Oh boy. Come here. You. Oh boy. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Gotcha. Nailed it. Anglerfishers give you nightmares. Love the sound effects, by the way. Bloop! I think he was starting a little rap. But now his career's ended because he's the dead. I got this. As a souvenir. Yay! You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts has increased and your health has been refilled too. Yes. I do believe I like that. That's what I need. Alright, so now I get back up and I can go get the musical instrument and add it to my inventory. And look, I'm on a second row of hearts. Nice! Which is pretty well on time because I believe this is the uh, halfway point right now. We just finished the... Uh, the fourth dungeon out of eight, sort of, kind of ten total, because there's also the bonus color dungeon, which I'm going to try and go do now, and then the, I suppose there will be a final dungeon as well, because there always is a final dungeon. Well, usually. Uh, the first one had just eight? I don't remember. I don't remember if the first one had eight or nine, now that I'm thinking about it. Bay! Hey, bay. Your road goes into the bay. Well, now that I can swim, swam, that should be uh, all right for me. I need to get the hook shot in order to get some more stuff that's darted about the uh, level, though. Hello, Jakester. Welcome back. Uh, you were an anglerfish mermaid once due to your friend doing makeup for a college course on... Oh, I remember that, cat. That was awesome. I got the heart. Harp. Indeed, I did. Um, so now, 
Now we're going to do the color dungeon. Let me see. Because I've got a picture. But I've got a picture from like the old version, so I want to make sure the code is the same on this one, which it may not be. Up three, right four, up five, left two, down one. Yep, yeah, okay, so this is the... Uh, um, the hint is the exact same as it was in the DX version. The uh, GBA. Had to do a catwalk? Ha! Huh, well appropriate. For you, my dear. Well, look at this funny looking fellow. Hello. I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Oh, uh, yeah. The code that's different is for the windfish. Ah. <laughs> then I can teach you my song. Bloop. Okay. That was the greatest experience of my entire life. Those fish are amazing and adorable and I want them in my house, but that would be cruel to take them away from anyone else that might stumble upon this cave and hear that amazing song. You've learned Mambo's Mambo when you get out of water, play it. Try and play it in the water bill. Alright. Ta-da! Let's to work to work to Manbo's pond. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here and uh, have a look. Voice for characters at top. Manbo is indeed blessed. I immediately and unconditionally love him, and thank you for the sweet compliment. That's very nice of you. Nah, I can swim, swim. Okay, so there's nothing else over here, unless there's something hidden down this way, which there very well could be. Oh, waterfall! Wee! Look at that! Now I'm around here. Well, when I hop out of the water, I'll try giving the... Uh, oh god, what are you? Get away. Get, get away. Get away. Stay back, vile demon! I don't want... Whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Uh, oh no, oh no, I can't get out. What are you... Hello? Um, there is a thing down there. How do I get that? Aha! I found the dive button! It was B! Dive under the waterfall? Yes, sir! You're the kingpin. I guess I gotta listen to you now. That's not how that works, but I'll indulge you. Um, let's see. Under the waterfall. The house at the bay. Oh, you're a friendly ghost. I think I know the house you're talking about, because I was farting around in there before, trying to get something to do something, and nothing did anything. You 100% this game? Oh yeah. Ooh, nice. Yes, if I'm, um... Yeah, when it, when it comes to the backseat gaming and stuff, um... For, like, the dungeons and stuff, kind of let me do it unless I'm gonna be stuck. But if it looks like I'm walking away from something that I'm just, like I'm going to completely miss outside of a dungeon, then uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. The dungeons I'm willing to, uh, you know, let let me stumble my way through the dungeons unless I ask for help outside the world. If I miss something, let me know. That's that's going to be my rule for uh, for backseating in this. So let's take this guy to the house. Oh wait, I need to. So this is a warp sign. Is that what it was? Yes, it is a warp song. Well, that's pretty useful. Because I've already unlocked some warp points. Um, so the house by the bay, this is right next to it, isn't it? This is Martha's Bay. Are you going to follow me? Or is this going to heck everything up? You should follow me, right? There he is. I like how he didn't warp with me. He just, like, floats down. And he's like, what the hell was that? Like, I'm taking you to the place, dude. Settle down. Okay, let me... Ha! There we go. Here, enter my house. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here, ghosty? Uh-huh. 
what's the deal? Welcome back, Blue and Orcat. Nostalgia unchanged. I mean, this looks to be in a little bit of disrepair. My ghost friend, what's going on? I mean, I know your house is completely wrecked and you're dead, but aside from that, what's wrong? Enough cemetery. Take me to my grave. This got dark in a hurry. Alright, come on. Let's go. Actually, I was heading there anyway, so this works out for me. Because I want to do the cooler dungeon. Um... I guess I can warp there. Oh, uh, you said that Wanda's children are going to be in WandaVision. Yes! I wonder how that's going to work. Because it was like a whole weird thing in the comics because they were... Because they had, like, Wanda and Vision had the babies. Like, it was um, uh, William and Thomas. But then, like, they were created because... Well, since Vision is a synthesoid, they couldn't have actual children, but Scarlet Witch kind of used a reality-altering powers to kind of create them. But then they turned out that their souls were like pieces of Mephisto's soul that broke off, and then Master Pandemonium, like, took them back and, like, reclaimed their souls and made them as part of Mephisto again. But then later, there were, like, two unrelated people, seemingly unrelated people, named Thomas and William that were, um... Supposedly the reincarnation of those guys, even though their souls were part of Mephisto, or I don't know if that's still the case. Maybe not, but either way, the essence that Wanda did create was reincarnated in these two other guys, which are, ended up not being brothers, although they kind of are. Um, but they're, like, from other parents. But, like, the biggest kicker, and that how, you know, the biggest hint that they are the reincarnation of Wanda and Vision's kids aside from the fact that they have the same names, is that they have powers that are extremely similar to Wanda and her brother Quicksilver. It's a whole thing, Jakester. Uh, let's go here. But, uh, my point is... If they are going to be in WandaVision, then I wonder how the show is going to simplify that. Probably, you know, if the, if the show, as I understand it, is going to be using Wanda's reality-altering powers, which she hasn't really used in the MCU yet, but I suppose the show will kind of introduce and get into that. I suppose that we'll, uh... They'll, they'll skip a whole lot of the whole Mephisto soul reincarnation thing and just kind of go, <laughs> like, skip ahead to them being, um... Uh, was Wiccan and Speed was the other one? I don't remember his code name now. Very complicated. Wonder if it'll be simpler in the show. Maybe they'll just never fully explain it. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to bet they'll probably just cut out a lot of the, uh... Uh... Overcomplicated stuff. Brave with flowers. I got you. Which one is it? Wait a minute. There was a... It's over here. I got you. Yes, the... Well, that is something that is, um... Maybe that's something I should do a video on, because that is definitely video-worthy. That, that is something I would have to lay out in order to explain better. Because then I would have to... Because uh, I don't remember all of the details offhand either, which is, you know, one reason why I can't explain it all. Off the cuff. But yes, I would have to go in about how Mephi Mephisto had, like, a piece of his soul broken off, and then Wanda took that and used it to make her children. But then those those pieces of his soul were reclaimed, but then the children were reincarnated. Could introduce Mephisto. Ooh, true. Also, Scarlet Witch, and I'm very excited about this, Scarlet Witch is going to be in the next Doctor Strange movie. But I don't know which is coming first, the show or the movie. I should look into that. Because it sounds like both of which are going to expand... Scarlet Witch's powers into the realm of what she can do in the comics, which is a 
hell of a lot more reality altering stuff. Hey, Cat is actually in chat properly. Hi, Cat. Thank you for joining me. Does better for my numbers when you do that too, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, this is something that I should do a video on. But yes, I'm very excited about uh, the next Doctor Strange and Wanda uh, being able to explore more of our magical power and doing more of the actual chaos magic stuff. Yes, in the Multiverse of Madness, that's what it's going to be called. And it's more of a horror movie vibe, which is cool, because I think it's the same director as the first one, who is noted as a horror film director. And the first one didn't really go in that direction too much, but if the second one is going to lead harder into it, then I'm all for it. Hey, Joldian of Darkness, you're watching Blade 2? Awesome. Oh, I don't even remember if I've seen the Blade movies. It's been forever. Although I do have Blade 2, the video game for Xbox original, so maybe we'll play that someday. But I would want to watch the movies again first, because it has been many a year. I remember next to nothing about them. Uh, isn't the Nightmare a villain Nightmare? Ooh, I don't know, but that would make a lot of sense. That, that would make sense. Nightmare is one of Doctor Strange's oldest adversaries as well. I think, if I remember right, I think Doctor Strange's first appearance... Strange Tales 110, I want to say? I'm probably getting the number wrong, but I, I believe in Doctor Strange's first appearance it was like a short five or ten page story, and I believe Nightmare was the villain in that. You have those on DVD as well, too? Nice! I don't think I own them. I don't think I have the Blade movies. You know what? I don't, because they're not... They weren't Fox ones. I've got, I had like a box set of all like the old Fox Marvel movies. Blade's not in there because that was New Line. That box had, like, Daredevil and Elektra and Fantastic Four. And come to think of it, a lot of those are not good, but I enjoyed them at the time. Hoot! It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the water of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward! Hoot! How's your day? My day is pretty darn good. Even better now that I hang out with you guys. Uh, they did Mysterio so well. Oh my god, Mysterio was done amazingly. And I don't I don't even want to get into it for people who haven't uh, haven't seen the movie or don't know Mysterio's deal because I feel like like I'm jealous of people who don't know that much about the comics and were able to watch that movie not knowing anything about Mysterio's character. On the other hand, Mysterio is one of my favorite Spider-Man antagonists and seeing him realized so freaking spectacularly in that movie was a sight to behold. The only thing I thought was weird, and I don't know if it was weird, but it's something that, I, like a detail that I would have put in, it was like Mysterio had his crew, and like some of them had names, but the, the only thing that I would have changed about that movie is that I would have made sure that Daniel Burkhart and Francis Klum were in Mysterio's crew in the movie, like if they were identified by name somewhere. Because um, for those who don't know, those two guys, uh, Daniel Burkhart and Francis Klum, are the second and third Mysterio. They're like people that used Quentin Beck's tech to like become new versions of Mysterio after Beck was either thought to be dead or was in prison or something like that. And like even in later comics, like after he comes back, like... There, there was a, I think in Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man specifically in that series, Mysterio was in it after, he came back after people thought he was dead, and he had Burkhart and Klum both working under him as like, you know, tech guys. Um, but I, like, yeah, without spoiling how the movie ends, yeah, I thought it would would have made sense too for, you know, setting up for future movies to have potential future Mysterios already kind of established, but they didn't seem to go that route. But I mean, you know, there were people there that weren't named, so they very well could say that Klum or Burkhart were there and they just didn't see or mention them, but it feels like they could have set them up early. Uh, got it cheap from CEX, was the fact that Ninja Vamp in 2 is Cat from Red Dwarf. Nice. Loved Jennifer Garner as Electro, one of the guilty pleasures, along with Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I say that uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is... I'm not going to say it's good. It's entertaining. Um, Daredevil, I feel, is a bit underrated. People tend to crap on that movie. Um, then again, people also say the director's cut is better, and I... That's pretty much the only version that I've ever watched is the director's cut, so... Maybe, I'm, maybe that's painting my uh, perception of it a little bit. Um, I didn't mind Jennifer... Uh, yeah, Jennifer Garner as Electra. I didn't mind the cast in that movie generally. I thought it was okay. The, the only thing that I didn't... Well, I'm not going to say the only thing, but... 
The main thing that bugged me about that movie is that, um... Even though he has the line, like, I want a costume, or whatever, they never put Bullseye in the actual Bullseye costume. Which, I don't know why not. His costume is less silly than Daredevil. It's mostly black. It's got, like, a white belt and, like, some white detailing on it. It's just got his black costume, mask, and the bullseye on his head. The silliest thing about the costume is the bullseye in his head, which he has in the movie anyway. So why not, like, even as a line, like, and there's a perfectly good reason for him to have it. He's like, I'm fighting this dude. He's got a costume. He's wearing a mask. I'm going to do that too. I want a costume. And then he just never has the costume. Like, why? Why you got to tease us like that? Uh, the only thing even like was Electra. I think that would have been better making her more like she is in her own film. Yeah, I didn't love the like the, the Electra solo movie was a bit for, forgettable. It's a bit of a crime that we kind of got that instead of getting like a proper Daredevil sequel. But whatever. Eventually we got Daredevil on Netflix, and that was a lot of fun. Though I haven't seen anything on Netflix past the Defenders. I kind of dropped off there. Bulls! I killed that old lady with a peanut on the airplane. Yes. Uh, that movie is dumb, but it's fun. That, uh, that describes a lot of the older Fox uh, Marvel licensed movies. Like the original Fantastic Four movies. Like those were dumb, but I kind of like them. Alright, let me see here. So. Uh, ghost Color Dungeon. Here we go. So one. Two. Uh, three. Four. Just being her attitude. Ah, oh, I got gotcha. you. Twelve seashells. Twelve seashells. I have to head back to the mansion at some point. Um. Hello, Sands and other Sands. Grr and someone. This is the color dungeon. And where the color got? You'll need magic powder to get anywhere in here. Say the word and I'll sell you some. Uh, I got magic powder, I think. Yes, I've got 19 doses of magic powder. Three more and I can get the sensor? Nice. Gar Dion. Guardian. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, well, these seashells are multifaceted for uses, so... Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, if I needed this, I should probably select... Crap. Ah, there we go. I got more powder. Yes. These seashells are good for more than just wiping your butt. There, I'll just set it. The beakless statue. Alright, well I need a beaky. Ooh. Now they're all red. Okay. Whoa, boy, he's pooping bombs. I'm used to having that on there. This is gonna break these, right? Yeah. Crap. Okay. Oh, this one I can do. Get in. And you, I'm gonna knock around here. Ah, damn it! Come give me. Come give me. Over here. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Damn it! Get out of the doorway. Get in your home. Nice. Chesticle. All right, what do we got? I got a beak! All right. We'll go jam that in the statue over here. And see what Mr. Owl's got to say. Mr. Owl! Whoop. Ah. All right, what do you got to tell me? You try if you dare. Make every tile square. Make every tile square. Try if you dare. Make every tile square. Oh, blue is a square one. Hang on. Huh. 
Did it. This is the hardest dungeon for you? I think I should be able to figure it out. Ooh, got the compass. That's always good. Compass is always uh, incredibly helpful, because then you can see if you're missing anything. The bosses are hard? Okay. I'll have to give them a good go. Ooh, money! Yes, yes, yes! Oh! Is this the Chris Houlihan room? I mean, no, but it's filled with money! Look at all the money! Thank you! Okay. Alrighty, let's just move on, shall we? Damn it. Ah. Ah, ah. Okay, I don't have a key. Is there like a hint to this? No. Nah, that's... I'll keep moving on for now. I'm probably gonna figure out what color I need to make those at some point. Smash all your pots, bruh. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's something in here. Oh, these guys are hopping around like jackasses. You're just gonna break everything, aren't you? Got a key. Is there anything else in here? Had to waste two fairies? Oof. Let me see here. There should not be anything else in here, so it should be okay. Oh, this, this leads me back out through here, and then I can go up there. But I also have a door over here I can go through that I have not yet gone through. So we'll do that. Okay. Mr. Owl! If you dare, make every tile square. Okay, so that'll be the, uh, the blue ones again. So this is... That one hits... That's those three. This one hits those three. This one hits those three. This one hits those three. Okay, so... That was easy enough. Okay. Ah! Ah! Get back. Get back. Okay, so I need another key. Oh, I've got two keys. Okay, well in that case, I'm gonna go back for now and use the key on the other door first. Ah! Oh no! Goodbye, my friends! Let me go through here. Let me go around. Alright, uh, where is it? Here. Let me try this on for size. Yep, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, hello, you're a big'un. What a greedy fool. You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. You must die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh balls. Oh, rocks. Huh. Gotcha. Eh. Oh, no. Oh, rocks. Huh. No. Oh no. Oh god, he does a lot of damage. Um. I've got the cream. I don't want to use it yet, because I don't have to, but I'm going to... Oh no, no, oh, no, 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 no.
Gotcha! Woo, baby! The jerk that made you die? Oh, what a butthead. Ooh, a furry! Uh, gotcha. Get in my bottle! I'm taking you with me, baby. Looked like it was dancing. I was just getting this boogie on. Ugh, fix my foot. Okay. Now! That was good. Let's see. Just equip this to get the fairy off the thing. I said... Well, I did, but I meant fairy. Sorry, Blue. I was just thinking about you again. You're always on my mind. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to pique your attention. Um, oh god. Oh crap. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay, wait. If that was the... If that was the mini boss, then maybe I should go the other way now? And use the other key on the other door before I move forward? We'll see. Only blue? Oh. No, no I can't... You know that you are lovely and amazing, and I just don't want to scare you off. There's three bosses? Good lord. Ah! Ah! It's been many a year since I played this game last. What exactly did you get from Color Dungeons? I don't remember. So this was added for, obviously, the Game Boy Color version. This was not in the original Game Boy version. But I don't remember what you get from this. Like you'd be scared you're used to blue. I mean, I suppose that's true. But blue is a sweetheart. And as are you. And I appreciate your company. Oh god. Okay, I know how to deal with this guy. Oh damn it. Hang on, let me... No, I'll use this. Oh jeez. He's got electro power. Oh god. Ugh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Pocket sand! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. He's so blubbery. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die again. Actually, I've got to... Might as well. Uh, I gotta dodge the electro squirts. Oh, God, he got me right in the face! Uh... Damn it. You fool, your sword won't work. Try some I know that! It'll work on this one, though. Ah. Yeah, I do remember that, um... Like, they re-released... Because they had the original Game Boy version of... Link's Awakening, but then they made Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color, specifically. Um, but then they added the Color Dungeon um, into it. And while you could play the DX version on the original Game Boy, the Color Dungeon was a version of the... Uh, the Color Dungeon was a dungeon that you needed to be able to see the colors in order to complete. So it's like, you gotta have a Game Boy Color if you want to get through this version. And of course, it was a way to show off, you know, the Game Boy Color's colors. I'm um, pretty tame compared to some of the people you know. I suppose that's true. I try to be reasonably respectful and moderate. Okay, here we go. This was the right way to go, because now I get a thing and I want it in my inventory. Like this. I got the boss key, so I would have needed to go this way anyway, because I would have hit a dead end on the other route. It's all good. Alright, so it looks like I've got everything pretty much cleared on that path. So I'm going to do something very quickly here. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick second to do that while they are here. Da -da -da. Uh, there we go. I unlocked some VIP badges, so I'll hook Sindel up with uh, with one of those. Actually, I'll give Pogart one as well. Why not? Uh, uh, uh. He was in here earlier. He decided to sub because he is a sweet boy. 
Look at that. There we go. Had some free ones to pass out. Also, I gave Jakester one already, right? Yes, I did. Okay, you're good. You don't have arrows? Ah, uh, I am out of arrows. I ran out. I've got the bow. I don't have arrows. I'll need to get some more. Just like the player stereotype. How am I a stereotype? What stereotype? What are you talking about? Yeah, you don't get an instrument because this is kind of... This is technically a side quest because I don't... Yeah, since it's, it's added for the second incarnation of the game, it is not required for the beating of the main quest. That rock dude would be easy with explosive arrows. Polite Canadian. I see what you're saying. I gotcha. Also, I like how Cat just constantly cracks blue spell. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Ah, okay. Get back over to here. I don't need this anymore. Click on this. There we go. Perfect. Now, so it should be one more bossy boy. Just avoid you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a dungeon map. I guess there's not one in this one. Unless that's it there. Oh, I mean, I, I would be the same way, Cat, honestly. Like I, oh, jeez. Why are you guys doing that? You guys are mean. Oh, well, now you're dead. That, that problem sorted itself out. Alright, 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 alright. How do I, 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 how do I? Oh, crap. I messed up the timing on that, Woily. Uh. Well, now he's dead. Okay, that worked. That's all good. There we go. I am nearly dead myself. Um, which way do I want to go? This way? Gonna need to make them all square again. Make everything blue. Make every tile square. Okay. So it looks like they're the same however you do it. They always just turn whatever is right next to them. Directly adjacent to them. Which means I can do this. Hmm. Do this, and this, and this. This. Like that. Do this. And this. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Gotcha. The nightmare. At least your stereotype is nice. Yours is buck teeth and always drinking tea. I mean, to be fair, I also have British ancestry, so those things kind of define me as well, because I drink a lot of tea and I had braces as a child. Still need to get parts of my teeth fixed up, but I have not enough money to do that. It's all good, though. I need a key to go through there. Well, can I get some like hearts out of these pots? Ooh, furry! I mean fairy. Gotta stop getting uh, cat and blue excited. Cat head braces? Aw. I got a piece of power! I'm gonna unequip that, uh, that fairy. I don't wanna accidentally use it. Yeah. Hurt. That's what I want it. Give me that. Ha! Huh, there we go. Beautiful. Furry! There's something you weren't telling us. I've been perfectly honest. 
Blue knows he's been trying to get me to make a persona, or he did at one point. Unsuccessfully. I dabbled. Not really my scene. Ha! Oh, damn it. Ha! Damn it. Ah, there we go. Goodbye, my friend. Blade 2 just finished. Nice! I heard that was a good one. It's been many a year since I've seen it. I don't remember anything about it. Watching the third one tomorrow night. Ooh, nice. Ryan Reynolds is in that one. Furries are epic. See, Blue knows. Blue knows the score. I've known many a furry. They've always been nice people to me. A little bit of drama from time to time, but I mean, that's more of a case of humans being a thirsty bunch and that kind of results in drama. But Blue and Cat are awesome. There's the map. Don't really need it now, but whatever. We got it. Uh, okay. I mean, it's good to have, because now I can see that I've uncovered most of the rooms. It's just the one through here. Wanted to watch Blade originally learn more about him after he was added to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Nice. Well, for, oh, well, this is going to be tricky. Well, for those who are interested, I also have a video about Blade up on the channel. Um, if you want to know his comic book origins. Jeez. Ah, damn it. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, no. God, stop. Everyone stop. Oh, I'm almost dead. Hey, Spaz, how's it going? Thank you for joining me. This bugs you when people get furries and Marie's confused. I'm not going to ask you to elaborate on that. I think I know what you're talking about, though. A very specific subset, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, to each their own. I don't judge. Whatever you're into. Oh, Spaz is going to go ahead and inquire. I get you into your hole? Get in your hole. That's where you belong. It is your destiny. Can I? There we go. Ah! Okay. No. Oh, oh actually. Got a good angle on this one. There we go. Now that there's only one left, it should be pretty easy. You can pick those things up after being hit. God damn it, I'm an idiot! Look at me doing... Oh, for freaking sake. Look at me doing everything the wrong... Ugh! Well, I, I officially did every single one of those in the dungeon the hard way. Are you proud of me now, Mom? Marie's are people that get internet in their suits. That's one way of putting it. Jakester is proud. Uh, that I I did uh, I did it the hardcore way. N no picking up the ballman. That's what I did. Spaz thought it was a perv thing. You know what? I'm not ruling it out. All right, so I've got the keys necessary. Blop. Blop. stuff. Nothing. Jeez. Like Yiffers. Is that the same thing? Now we're getting into it. Once again, I have um, no judgment about what happens between uh, consenting adults. <laughs> Blue's talking about sex. Yes, I have not heard uh, that term myself either. But true, I guess you uh, you learn something new every day, eh, Jolteon? Don't worry, Blue. It's all good. I've, uh, we're PG-13 around here. Not G-rated. Not, not quite. They have suits made to get down and dirty. Hey, like I said, what happens between consenting adults... I don't mind it. Go ahead and, you know, you you, you people, if, you, if that's what you're into, seems like it would be really hot. Like, that'd be sweaty, right? Like, how could it not be? 
Like, I always, like, whenever I'm at conventions, I always wonder if, um... Because you always see Sailor Moon cosplayers and you see furries. And I wonder if the furries look at the Sailor Moon cosplayers and say, Man, those suits look really breezy and comfortable. And the Sailor Moon cosplayers are over there freezing their tits off thinking, Man, those fursuits look really warm. Grass is always greener. I suppose in that case it depends on what time of the year it is, too. The IT The smart thing to do, fursuit in the winter, Sailor Moon cosplay in the summer. See? That's what I ought to do. I'm always thinking. Though I don't know if I can pull off the short skirt. I bet I look a bit... I'd, I might have to get, like, pantyhose to cover up the leg hair, but I could look good. Not that I would ever subject anyone to that. So philosophical. See? Sindel knows. Love when cat jumps on your lower region and claws. Ugh! See, my cat has a bad habit of, like, stepping on sensitive areas just by walking by. Doesn't happen that often, but every now and then, just like, thump! I'm like, ugh! Why? You heavy! Ugh. Lay on tile floors to cool down bugs, and when people lay on them, oh no! I mean, the fursuits do look, uh, they look comfortable as well to lie on. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Is it gonna be empty? Again. Oh well. I have two fairies, right? I got one fairy. I already used one. Dang it. Very PG. Eh. We skirt the boundaries. Let's see here. Oh. Boink. There we go. Alright, so next up is the Nightmare. Uh, yeah. We gotta get a sip of water over here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do this nightmare, but first, we're gonna take a quick minute break. I'm gonna try the whole running an ad thing and see if that works. Um, because I need to use the washroom and, uh, refill my water. But I will be back in one minute, you guys. Hopefully. Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another spin. Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another spectacular episode of History of the Marvel Universe. From the day he was born, the man known as Blade has been involved in the world of the supernatural. His biological father, Lucas Cross, was a member of the Order of Tyrana, a secret society in Latveria who opposed the rule of King Vladimir Fortunov. Before he was arrested by Latverian authorities, Lucas sent his pregnant wife to England where Madame Vanity, a fellow member of the Order, would protect her. Terra Cross stayed at Madame Vanity's brothel, posing as one of the sex workers, using the pseudonym Vanessa Brooks. However, when she went into labor, complications arose, threatening the lives of the young mother and her child. The women of the brothel were desperate to find a doctor who would agree to come to them, and finally a man named Deacon Frost agreed to help. Unfortunately, Frost was in truth an undead creature of the night, a vampire who took this opportunity to feed on the dying young woman. Upon being discovered, the opportunistic vampire escaped through the window and disappeared into the night. The woman known as Vanessa Brooks died, but her son Eric survived, having been changed forever by this event. Eric Brooks had been born a Dampier, a partial vampire making him immune to the corrupting effects of a vampire's bite. He was then raised by Madame Vanity, and even came to call her mom. However, the boy grew up hearing whispers of the creature who killed his real mother. Then, when he was nine years old, young Eric came upon an old man being attacked by vampires. The boy dove in to help, but the man, it turns out, was a vampire hunter named Jamal Afari. A homeless trumpeter, Afari moved into Madame Vanity's brothel and began tutoring Eric both in music and in the ways of the vampire slayer. He also told the boy tales of his exploits, including how he had come up against Dracula, the lord of the vampires, and survived. 
Sometime later, Eric came across a crazed man seemingly attacking an innocent woman. He assumed the attacker was a vampire and staked him through the heart, killing him instantly. But Eric was wrong. With a human man dead, Madame Vanity sent Eric to America to stay with another sect of the Order of Tyrana for protection. However, this particular group had become a street gang known as the Blood Shadows under the command of their leader, Cyrus Cutter. During his time with the Blood Shadows, Eric grew close to a woman named Glory, but Glory belonged to... All right, and we're back. Thank you for your patience. All right, so, and I will remind the people in the chat um, to do your best to keep things um, open and welcoming for people of all walks of life, despite their specific proclivities. This community is meant to be uh, open and welcoming to all comers around here. Oh yes, and a reminder to the people that uh, saw parts of the Blade video during the intermission there, if you want to see the rest of that video, as well as more like it, you can do that by going to youtube.com slash marymarvelite and uh, see what I've got over there. Alright, so now we're going to fight this here boss. Let's move on to this port of the dungeon. Bring this... Here we go. Cool! What is this big bug boy? Okay. This is safe. I'm safe. Hard hit beetle. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Oh jeez. Step back. Take your time. Get on my face, get on my face. You miss. Gotcha. Gotcha! Jump? Unnecessary! I haven't played many Zelda games at all. I played pretty much all of them, I think. Are you excited for the new Blade movie? Oh, yes! Got a new one coming out. MCU Blade. That's gonna be cool, actually. Ha! Gotcha. Okay, there we go. Alright, so what do we got out of this? I don't remember. Oh, look, it's a great fairy. Hi, lady. Welcome, Rick. I admire you for coming this far. Oh, it's the fairy queen. Hmm? Oh, no worries. I had it under control. I, ha I still had fairies and I had the... Uh, the cream that revives me if I die, so I'm all, we're all good. Yeah, Mahershala Ali, I probably just butchered the hell out of his name. Yeah, that should be good. He was uh, Cottonmouth in Luke Cage, right? So, that's cool. Like, he was, he killed that role, so seeing him as Blade is going to be interesting. I wonder if they're going to go British. Because this is the thing that um, people who just know Blade from the movies probably don't realize is that Blade was born and raised in London. Like, B Blade is technically supposed to be British. Um, now, like, uh, looking at the canon as a whole, like, he left London when he was, like, nine to live in America for a while, and then he moved back to London when he was, uh... I don't know exactly how old. I'm not sure how many years he spent in America. But he, he grew up in London until he was, like, nine years old. Then he came back after. So, 
technically Bra Blade should be British, but I don't know if they're gonna play it that route in the new movie or not, because they don't, they didn't really do it in the old one. Got the supreme difficulty only uh, XP Iso Stone, Spidey's level 80. Nice! I haven't gotten that one yet. Um, I've been co mostly, uh, like, grinding away in some of the earlier difficulty stuff and uh, uh, managing my ISOs by, like, combining them together. Ooh, Idris Elba would have been a good choice. But he was already, um, uh, he was Heimdall in, uh, in the Thor movies. It's not to say that he couldn't do it, but, you know. That, that makes it less likely that they would do it in going forward. Because even though he was Cottonmouth and Luke Cage, that was a Netflix-only thing, so it wasn't that role in the movies. Alright, where was I? Fairy Queen. I got distracted. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? A uh, powerful red male or sturdy blue male? I think I'm going to go with the blue male. Myself? I think I'm going to be more defensive. And you're sure you want the blue male? Yeah, sure. Let's do blue. As you wish, wish so shall it be. Sure. Relax and close your eyes. You can always change it. That's cool. I kind of figured. Yes. I Blue, I choose you. I'd like to see how a modern adaptation would look. Yes. Yes, I'm very intrigued in, the, in that. Oh. Sweet, I'm blue now. All right, well, that was worth doing. Now, I've got places I can go, but I still need... A hook shot before I can really get a lot of the stuff that I need. So, Martha's Bay. Link's ears. Link is adorable in general. He's a he's a cute little elf boy. Look at this boy. Look at this adorable lad. There's a shell? Where's the shell? I wonder if I already got it. Probably not. They use the style as a way to test out what a 3D Earthbound game would look like next to the pink ghost's grave. Hmm, I wonder if I got that already. I might have. I don't remember. I'll go look, because that was over here. And Lord knows I'm not going to get all the shells, but I'd like to get as many as I can. Over here? Ah. You had a crush on Link as a kid? I mean, who wouldn't? That, that just makes sense. Oh yeah, Moon Knight is another one that'll be interesting. Do I have to shovel it? The middle of the plus. Ah, gotcha. There we go. Thank you, Jakester. Uh, prefer when the English guy in a film isn't Cockney or Queen's English speaker. Uh, yeah, Blade was from London, specifically Soho. So I don't know what accent that would be. But that is where he was born and raised. Uh, alright. Always oh, had too feminine a look for my taste? No, that's how I like my boys. Um, let me see. Let's do the warpy warp. Let's do the time warp. Yeah. Link, you mean? Yeah, I've kind of, uh, kind of figured. Um, let's see. So, the bay is where we're headed. Know nothing about Moon Knight other than he's Moon Knight, and in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, he can glide and wear a white suit. Yeah, true. We're not doing the time warp. We're doing the space warp. We're folding space and jumping across. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Um, yeah, Moon Knight is a cool character. The, uh, the long and short of it is that he is... Is this where I need to go? Uh, he was a mercenary named Mark Spector. I got this. Who ended up getting, uh, on a mission in Egypt, if I remember right, he ended up, like, going against people who were paying him or something like that because... 
I wanted him to do some stuff that he did not want to do and ended up getting gunned down, ended up basically getting killed. But then he was revived by the Egyptian god of the moon, Khonshu, who turned him into the Moon Knight, basically. And yes, he is also incredibly crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a heart I can get right there. How do I get in that water? Um, yeah, because Moon Knight has used more than one secret identity over the years. Like, he of course has his original name of Mark Spector. He also... Ooh, that's not going to let me get there, is it? Where is it? Oh, I can, I can weasel my way in there. Um, he has also been Jake Lockley, the streetwise cabbie. Um, he has used the identity of Stephen Grant, who I believe was like a playboy philanthropist movie star maybe i don't know but yeah billionaire S uh, stephen grant and uh the thing is over over the years he has kind of developed a uh, split personality disorder um let's see can i well this is where i need it to go i believe i need a key don't i Yet he does tend to talk to himself as well. Of course, I do that as well, and I'm not crazy. Right? More or less. Let's go talk to Mr. Phone Guy and see if he points us in the right direction. I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go, but I'm missing a key, I believe. Phone over here. I don't need a key? Dang it! Oh yeah, because there's only so many keys on the main thing here, isn't there? Yeah, there's five keys for eight dungeons, so not all of them have a key. All right, back I go. All right. Back I go. Oh, wait, there's a mermaid statue over there. Something to do with that, right? Yes. I get to... All right, um... I can just go up and around. I think I know where I'm going. Swim, swim, swim. Oh, hey, a mermaid. Hey, cutie. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. All right, we need the necklace. The necklace. What do I have right now? Good question. The broom. I have the broom. I'm gonna head out. Alright, thank you for dropping by, Sindel. Always a pleasure to see you. Yes, right now I have the broom. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, careful. Oh, come on. Alright, so now I can go. Oh god. Oh my. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Ah, it's too. Ah! I wasn't expecting there to be a thing under the thing. Okay, okay. Uh. Anything up here? Mr. Owl statue. Mr. Owl! Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. Ooh, there's gonna be something under the bridge. I gotta go there now. Excuse me. Can Reeves needs to be Moon Knight? That's an option. That is certainly an option. Let's see here. Go down this way. Yes, I had this marked on the map as well. All right. So let me uh, ta -da. remove that one because I'm going there now. I got that already so I can take this off. The thing there, and I don't remember if I need the hook shot or not to get it. When I get the hook shot, that's when I'm going to go like kind of around a lot of the map and pick up a lot of the things that I missed. Ooh. Mario! Ugh. Hello. It's no use, little buddy. A fish took my hook. I keep casting my line into the water, but I haven't got a butt. A lot of this would happen. All right. Take the broom to Mabe Village? Ah, yes. Okay. Well, this guy needs a hook. 
So I'll remember that. I'll put a note on the map again. Just plop that there, whatever. All right, well, in that case, well, first, I'm already here. Let me do let me do the stuff that I'm doing here, and then I'll I'll end up getting the hook after, or I'll go back to Mobby Village and use the broom rather afterwards. Goodbye. Let me go down here. Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh god. Wait, do I need the hook shot to go across there? I think I do. God dang it! Son of a... All right, well, that's not gonna work out for me. There's a seashell in Animal Village that everyone misses. Let's go do that then. I'm close to there, right? It's just over here. Yes, Animal Village is just right here. All right, Jakester, guide me. Yeah, I'm just right here. The animal that gave you a letter? Uh, I don't remember who that was. These guys are just listening to the song. Oh, wait, it was the, uh, the lady. Not you. Uh, it wasn't you, was it? Yeah, it was the the one who gave me a, a thing to give to Mr. Wright and also gave me a uh, gave him a picture of Princess Peach. Oh yeah, it was this one. Christine, that's right. Christine's adorable. Thank you. Yes, the one who uh, pretended to be Princess Peach. Like he wrote she wrote a, a letter to Mr. Wright confessing her feelings and the picture of her that she included was actually a pr picture of Princess Peach. And I maintain that she probably should have just included a picture of herself, because, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And also, as we established earlier, some people are into that kind of thing. Let's see. Yeah, Keanu Reeves could make a good Moon Knight for sure. Alright, well I might as well pop back to Mabe Village now. To do the broom. Alright, uh, this is close enough. Whee! I can always just whoop back if and I want to. It would be good. Asks people who would date a goat. I mean, if Undertale fan art is to be believed, a lot of people. Can we kill the animals? No! The animals must be saved. Um, alright, so. Someone's getting the broom. Hello. That was part of a nice fur coat. Oh, I also need to check and see if there's anything new in the uh, the grab a magic game. How about we kill the chicken? Now that's not a good idea. Hello. Oh yeah, you're uh, your phone man. That's right. Hello. New brew. Yes, it was you, Grandma Yahoo. Yeah. Yeah. You can have this fishing hook. Excellent. Oh, well, this is perfect timing, now, wasn't it? <laughs> Free meat. I have been trying to eat more chicken lately and cut down on the red meat. All right. While I'm here, let's go into the crane game. I'm all about it. Let's see. Ooh, there's the cheap, cheap one. Oh, and there's a seashell. Seashell. By the seashore. Ah. Trendy game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see if I remember what to do. Okay. Now get the n necklace. Jakester knows what's up. For those who are unaware, in the Japanese version, the ne necklace was a uh, bra, I believe, or a swimsuit, something like that. Did 
Dang it. Bikini top, yes. That's the word I was looking for that I could not remember for the life of me. Ah, damn it. It's okay, I, I'm getting... Gotta get the timing back on this. Because I want that seashell. Got it. That's it. Is your skill back? Yep. Took me a second. See? How about that? How about dead apples? How do you like that? You know, at some point I should, like, because I've got the chat here, but the camera is here. At some point I should get something that I could, like, actually mount the phone with the chat on it. So it's, like, in front of the camera. So that when I'm looking at you guys, I'm actually looking at you guys. Instead of, like, going back and forth between two different directions. That's a good idea. I just thought of that. Shouldn't be too hard, because I've got the camera on an actual tripod there, so, yeah. Just something that I can mount the phone on and then click into a tripod. The only thing is, it need to be, like, halfway close so I can still read it, but we'll see. I'll figure something else. Seashells... I messed that up immediately. See... She sells seashells by the seashore. I am not good at tongue twisters, if you haven't noticed. Took you 30 rupees to do it, so... You know what? I was out of practice. I admit it. That was not a good performance. I'm not saying that it was. Okay. Yeah. But the ones on the conveyor belts take a little bit of doing. I couldn't remember the exact timing on it. You son of a fish! Oh, all right, fine. I suck. I admit it. Are you happy, Jakester? Are you happy? Ooh. Come on, this should do it. <laughs> Very good. Stay in there. Cool. I'll call that a victory. Mostly because it is. You know what? I still got plenty of money and I got the two things that I wanted. So I ain't going to complain too much. It's not like it's hard to grind for money in this game if you need to. You just keep chopping down bushes and going around in a circle until you got enough. That's the good thing about the game being on the Switch. I guess the game, this game was always handheld. Just like sit down and uh, slash away at stuff. How many shells do I have? I have... 16 shells which is good because that means I can get something doesn't it um where do I who wants the cheap cheap thing I don't remember I don't remember what goes where uh, piranha plant that's not it the senor all right this is one over here this was gonna be my next guess I swear to god I swear Pepperoni sandwich? That sounds good. Cheap, cheap. Slap that thing. Slash that. Slash? Slap it down. Slam it. Place it neatly on the desk. Whatever. Now, there's nothing else good in there right now, is it? Da -da 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 -da. Anything in here? Uh, nope. Nothing that I need. I should see if I can buy more arrows, though. While I'm here. Because I don't have any arrows. And I've got money. So, it only makes sense to get some arrows out of the money. New one spawns after every dungeon. That is true. No. Nope. Oh, he does have arrows there. I can, oh, God. That was a thousand dollars. No, thank you. Not too worried about the, uh, the build a dungeon stuff. That's something I might uh, tinker with on my own time. Uh, I get another ten. How much wood would woodchuck chuck for woodchuck could chuck wood? See that one I can do. 
with a side of bourbon biscuits and some French fried crisps. Oh, is that what you've got there, Jolteon? I couldn't tell if that was, uh, that was your food of choice for the evening or if you were trying to give me another tongue twister. Maybe a little bit of both? But that does sound quite good. No, it's good. Know what I, I like sometimes? Like a, basically a pizza t style sandwich. If you have like a, uh, some like pepperoni, maybe some ham with some pizza sauce, some, some mozzarella cheese. That's good stuff. Uh, okay. So. And with cola. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. God damn it, Spaz. Here to trip up my tongue. How dare you made a fool of me for the last time. That's not true. We both know it'll happen again and again and again and again. Um, what was I doing? I was gonna bring the hook to the dude. Uh, what's the closest thing? JD with cola. Oh my. It just, it just, uh, clicked what JD stands for. Oh, there's more fishing? Oh, good. Oh, good. Fishing was fine. Uh, so I need to go up and around. Can I, uh... Did, thing, did this need the, uh... The hook shot or the... No, I can swim through here. Alright, I'm gonna go through here. Ow! Blop. I have to catch a blooper and a cheap cheap. Oh, what do I get for that? Is that really necessary? Ooh, there's a thing. Dive. Catch it. Nice. See, I'm not necessarily going for 100% completion, but if it's worth getting, seashell and a heart piece, maybe. Ugh. Oh God, spaz, why? You know what? No, no, I'm saying no. I'm not gonna. I'm not doing it. I'm not saying Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Not that many times. Hmm. What do we have here? What's going on here? Oh god, did I unleash the damned? It's a gold bat! Hey kid, you woke me up for a fine nap! Thanks a lot! But now I'll get my revenge! Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> you deserve it! Now look at all that junk you have to carry! <laughs> Take care! See you again! The hell? Did I just get laid? Alright, well, let's move on. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll try it once, but I'm not doing it quickly. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the pickled pick? I fricked it up. Right at the end. I almost got it. Looks like a devil gold bat. Absolutely. That, that was definitely a gold bat mouth. Okay. Uh, so now that I've got that, now... Glad I went down there. Now... Oh! Damn it. There's something that's, uh, uh... The sound design is good in this game. There's something uh, particularly... Like, when, you, when you get hit with a fish, it's got a bit of oomph behind it. It's like thump. Which is not a sentence I would say today, but there it is. When you get, when you get hit with a fish, it's got some oomph behind it. Ha! Ah. I love how those things look when you hit him with the powder. He is called Little Devil. That is true. He is a little devil. Oh, excuse me. Now. Ha! Look at that entrance over there. Now. So now I'll give the hook to the fisherman. Oh. Ow! Ah! Oh, ow! See, this is why I took the thing that makes me take less damage, because Lord knows I'm going to get hit with a lot. How can a clam cram a clean cream can? I don't know. That's a good question. Ha! Huh. Hello, sir. 
Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It is not a fishing hook, is it? You better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. All right, keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. Oh, what's it gonna be now? Oh, is it going to be? That's a big one. The necklace. Thank you, sir. The fishing hook became a necklace. L lucky. The fishing hook became a necklace. Well, I've got the necklace. Slash the bikini top. That, that line is even better in the original. I wonder if that's why that comes off that way. Or if it would ha just kind of have the different context. It's like, you got the bikini top. Lucky. All right. Hello, Miss Mermaid. Oh, that's it. My necklace. Give it. Give it back. I'll give you a scale, as I said. Give Lucky works better in the Japanese version. Absolutely. Promise you'll take only one. <laughs> Give me it. Rip a scale right off your ass. How will you use this? Goodbye. Alright, hold on. Now, so now that I've gotten that... Um... I can take this off. Butt scale! Got it! You wanna watch your Irish wristwatch? You're still trying to trip me up, aren't you? Um, okay, so. Ah! Let's see, yeah? I dodged you. So let's see, I should be able to weasel my way out, my way in here, right? Ah! There we go. I just dove down and now I can go under and up. Here we go. Swimmy, swimmy. Butt scale. You're an Irish. St you have an Irish Station Master's pocket watch. Ooh. That sounds nice. All right, level five, Catfish's Ma. Excellent. So yeah, let's just keep on. Uh, yeah, let's keep this party going. We still got plenty of time. Ah. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh ha. Okay. Okay. Ha. Damn it. Yeah. Balls. There we go. Okay. Okay. Definitely getting the hook shot in here. Reminds me of the Whirl Islands from Gold and Silver. I don't remember that that well. I guess it's been a while since I played Soul Silver. Ah, there we go. Well, that's probably mostly like stuff where you need to use Whirlpool. Was that in Gold and Silver? Or am I thinking of like Gen 4? Not gonna be able to jump that. I need the hooker shatter, which is definitely going to be in this dungeon. And then we can go around and collect a whole, whole bunch of crap. I got the compass. Yeah, lately, this is where you get the hook shot. Cool. Yeah, as I said, uh, try and keep the. Uh, unless I ask for help or I'm stuck, try and keep the. Uh, uh, the tips and stuff to what's in the overworld. The dungeons I would like to kind of, uh, uh attempt on my own. Ugh. But, uh, if I get stuck, I will be more than, uh, more than happy to ask for help. It's the overworld stuff I want to make sure that I kind of get as much as I can on the way, although I'm not really dedicated to, uh hundred percenting it. Heart Gold, Soul Silver will always be your favorite Pokemon games. Those are good choices, for sure. Uh, last one. Okay, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna try and say this one slowly enough to actually get it out. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. That one I had to say very slow. I could feel myself screwing that up if I didn't. Shoot. I need to actually focus up on this. Ah. 
There we go. Okay, that worked. Nailed it. Oh, Stealthos. And there's a thing in here. Die. Die, die, die. Die, Skeleton. No. Hmm. Spaz, if there's one person that can always torture me, I'm willing to let you do so. Within reasonable boundaries, obviously. Try making them a square. Nailed it. Right into my pocket. Link, stop breaking the ISO stones. Ah! Funnily enough, I wasn't sure if those were made up for the game, but I was actually reading, um, uh, uh, reading the Ultimates series, um, from right after Secret Wars, and they mentioned ISO stones in that. So, I don't know. I don't know if they're like end up being a major thing in the comics. It seems like it's more of just like a power source. But they do mention ISO stones in that series. So that's where the game at least got the name for that kind of thing. You are indeed special, Spaz. You're very special to me. This is one of the easier dungeons. Cool. Doesn't seem too tough so far, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. If you want to know about my kinks, you're going to have to ask me in private. And even then, I'm probably going to be pretty coy about them. I'm not very kinky. I'm, I'm, I'm so vanilla. It'd be boring. Blue, I've, I've seen some of the stuff that you get up to. Trust me, you're way more interesting than I am. Am I missing something in here, or am I just not supposed to do anything here yet? Wait, I'm going to... I have an idea. I can dig it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. Is this just an empty room? It very well might be. Do a little bit of digging and then I'm gonna look around somewhere else. <laughs> Jakester, no. <laughs> You're not that interesting? Ah, Blue. Don't sell yourself short. see. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go somewhere else then, because I can't figure that out yet. I suspect I might need something. Let's see. There's... I, don't, I have a key, so there are definitely other places I can go. Everyone here is interesting in their own way. See, that's a good way of looking at it, Julian. I like you. You're a good dude. Short is one thing you're not. You know what? That is true. That is also true. Blue is a big dude. Ah! Throwing your bones at me. Ah, oh, frick this. Ah! Well. Those don't do anything. True in more ways than one. Oh my goodness. Hey, cat, as long as you're happy. That's the important thing. Ah! Oh, God, electro face! God. Stupid helmet voice. There we go. Hit him in the ass with a pot. That's what I always say. If someone's, ha someone's hassling your jimmies, Hit him in the ass with a pot. It's usually a one-hit kill. How do I... Damn it, I forgot the throw button. It's my dumb ass. There we go. I. Why'd you turn around? Ha! Gotcha! Up 
piece of garbage. Hey, look, a chest. Give me this. Oh, good, the stone beak. I say that, but it's probably going to come in a very useful. <laughs> Alright, so where am I? I'm there. I could go this way. Alright, as long as I've got... Ah! Damn it. As long as I've got more places to go. I'm very glad that I got the blue mail. <laughs> it's very appropriate for this run. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> that did nothing. Hang on, let me... Nope, okay. I had to try. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay, hang on. Huh. Oh, God, it didn't work. Oh, the timing! Ah! Oh, I'm here! Oh, the orange dudes, or the green dudes fell down, too. That was funny. I'm supposed to have the hook shot to come across here. I'm a dumbass. Fantastic. Well, there's more places I can go. They stop firing after the enemies die. Very good. You couldn't resist? You could have. You just chose not to. But I respect that. You've got gumption. I like it. Ah! Ah! Frick a frack. Ah! Ah! Go! Jesus! Let me out of here. Okay, well, I can't go that way. I can go this way. Probably. Ow! I've been rambling on about the hookshot for so long. God damn it. Ah! Skeletons trying to ass slam me. Their bony rears. Get out of my face. You two. Eh! There we go. What do you gotta say? Kill all the skeletons? Dude, kill all the skeletons. Cool. Try using a bomb. I was not necessary. See, I, didn't, I don't have that much problem. I don't have that much trouble killing skeletons. Not that big a deal. You've had I've had worse from you guys. I mean, you're not wrong. Oop. Oh, big Stalfos. This guy's cool. I like your design. That's awesome. All right, let's fight. Oh, th his tip was for this guy. It's like the ones in the. Uh, Twilight Princess and stuff. Well, I suppose they were in this game first. Older version. Oh. I didn't mean to lay that down yet, but here we are. Explode! There we go. That did damage. Okay, okay. Oh, damn it, I wasn't facing him with the shield. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. A lot of the times, you know, most of the time Zelda enemies, they just kind of like disappear and, you know, into an item. That dude was straight up, you know what? The hell with this. I'm not getting paid enough for this crap. See you later, man. Just bitches out. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll take it. You always like the lizards from Ocarina? Those guys were cool, actually. Those fights were pretty fun. One of the, I, I don't know why, but one of the most nostalgic things to me, maybe it's because I thought they were so cool at the time, one of the most nostalgic things for me is the fire dancers from Ocarina of Time in the... Uh, uh, in the Fire Temple, and I, I think the music is a big part of that. Where it's like dun 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 dun. Like those fights are very nostalgic for me, specifically for some reason. That that and the other thing that really tickles my nostalgia boner is um the uh uh when the dawn music in Ocarina of Time, like when the sun is first coming up, it's like doo 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 and like the music starts kicking da, 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 da. and it's like this really pretty music that's kind of slowly kicks into the Hyrule theme that is like mm, hits me right hits me right in the childhood uh, I'm going this way it seems ha there we go I got what's inside the box come and get it if you can 
Master Skullface. You mother... Alright, well... I guess he's got my hook shot, doesn't he? Piece of garbage. The Dongos are pretty cool too. Oh yeah, I like those sound effects that those guys made. Like, then when they explode, like... Ah. Welcome to Mary Makes an Ocarina of Time sound effects with his mouth. go oh Jiminy Christmas I kind of like his shimmy when you're walking with the shield up just shh, 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 shh. dive under where tor torch light beams do cross ah is that a Is that a tip for in here, or... In the previous room! Son of a beach. Yeah, let me just... Ah, crap, I can't go back, can I? Oh well, it's fine. Goombas. I really like the Goombas design in this game. Like they got kind of a more accentuated uh, brow. The eyebrow thing is bigger. Looks cool. It's really nice. A uh, nice Goomba design. Okay. Ah, get off. Okay. More arrows. Can I get through here. Yes, I can. Oh, I'm back here. Grand! I went in a circle! I didn't get the thing I needed. Alright, fantastic. Who knew Who knew Zelda could make Mario enemies much better? I think it's just a cool thing in seeing the, uh, seeing something familiar done in a slightly different style. That's always kind of fun. Uh, Dodongos play the Bongo, bring the Strongos to the Broncos for the Gonzos from Donzos. Fantastic! Alright, well, let me see. Ah! Wait a minute. Well, there's another spot I can go that I haven't gone yet, I don't think. I have an idea, though. I don't know if it's going to pay off, but... If it's, if it's right, I'm going to feel really smart. Now, this has those kind of panels, too, though, doesn't it? I mean, where am I? Right here. Okay, this way. Let me Let me just see something for a second here. Mario enemies except the bloopers. Yes. No, he's not here. Although this has four colored things. The other room had one. Is this going to be the fourth place I have to fight him? I was wondering if I came there if he would be there. Because it was like a similar tile pattern. We'll see. Mario enemies definitely make this game better. Oh yeah, I love all the Mario references in this game. It's pretty great. Alright, so. That's where I came in. I still have places I can go, though. Mamu. Oh yes. Good old wart. Yes, this one has one, so the one in the corner has four. Yes, and I did not go up here yet, so this is another spot I can go. Oh, lots of spots to go. Hang on, I want to check something first, though. Yes, Kirby as well. Is there a spot I can dive in here? 
It's a dive where torchlights cross paths or something like that. So I'm just wondering if there's a spot I can dive in here. Or if that's somewhere else. It might not be here. Doesn't look like it's here. Alright, I had, I had to check. Because I remember there were both water and torches in this room. Whee! Okay. Oh, good. I don't need that right now. Is destroying these going to do anything for me, I wonder? Ah! Damn it. I wanted to grab that at the last second so I could take it into the next room. Or that didn't do anything for me anyway. Oh, this is where torch lights cross paths. This is what the owl meant. Mamu gives you a song? Nice. I've not encountered him yet in this playthrough. And, uh, yes, for what it's worth, um, the character they call him Mamu in this game, they called him Wart in Super Mario Bros. 2, but in the Japanese version, he was also named Mamu. Ah, dang it, I need the hookshot, of course. Okay. So what else I've been reading lately? Yeah, I read Ultimates. Um, like, I started reading the uh, post-Secret Wars Ultimates series, which is a, basically a team book of, uh, it's like, Captain Marvel and Black Panther, Monica Rambeau, uh, Blue Marvel is there. It's a pretty good book. I like that one. It's basically, you know, a bunch of really strong slash really smart heroes. I don't think I can go this way. Pretty much blocked off here. Yeah, no, Mambo or Ma Manbo was the guy that gave you the warp song. Uh, Warp's character you've wanted in th seen in 3D for a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised they never brought him back in like a Mario game. Like we never really got a sequel to. Uh, uh, Oh, I know where I can go. Oops, I accidentally took a picture. We never got a sequel to Super Mario Bros. 2. Or Doki Doki Panic, Panic or anything like that. Let's see. Oh, I hit this. That opens that. That's good. Oh, okay, I can go this way, though. Ah! Yeah, I, I liked one issue of uh, Ultimates I read... Uh, fairly recently and it was most of the issue was basically just um, just sit down dialogue but between like super cosmic characters so it's like Galactus sitting down and talking to Molecule Man about what's going on which is interesting to me or then like he has a uh, Galactus. Okay, so this is three. So this is the third place. Oh, and I can see the dots on the map here. So this is one, this is three, this is four. So I'm looking for two, which is probably going to be around here somewhere. I can go through here, though. Okay. Come back from work the other day, saw a giant pair of clay boobs. It wasn't until later you found that they were a clear uh, pair of clay bread ovens. Oh, interesting. Uh, they brought him back with the name Mamu. Uh, all we need now is 3D Mauser. Yes. So I got the map. That's good. Now I can see where I need to go. So chances are, yeah, I probably got to go over here and fight him. Once I get the hook shot, I'll be able to get all kinds of stuff over he uh, in here. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I can go this away. Here we go. Here's the two door, or two room, rather. You found me! You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Damn, wasn't facing him. Don't have targeting, gotta remember. Yeah, like... I was gonna say that... Um, they they, they uh, took a couple of things from Super Mario Bros. 2 that kind of kept coming back, because Birdo has been relatively recurring. But bombs came from Mario 2, so that was a big thing. Although I think the... Uh, Sure. I'm, not, I'm not sure if they were in Doki Doki Panic or if they added them in Mario 2 because they were already working on Mario 3. I'm not sure exactly how the timeline of that breaks out. But at least in North America, we got the bombs in Super Mario Bros. 2 first. And, uh... And Shy Guys. Shy Guys is the big one. Shy Guys were from Super Mario Bros. 2 and they just kept coming back. No one's the Oracle's remade. Ooh, that'd be good. I think we need to get Capcom involved with that because Capcom actually made the Oracle games. So they might need to... S I don't know if Capcom owns any of the rights to those. I'm not sure how that would work. But hey, they can play nice. They made the games in the first place and they, you know, willing to let Mega Man into Smash. So I'm sure Capcom would be willing to sign off on remakes of those. Shy Guys have a big history. Indeed. Yeah, Shy Guys and Birdo are probably the biggest things that to definitively come from Super Mario Bros. 2. Okay. Round three. Oh, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Oh, he's using a shield now. Gotcha. This will do it. Okay. Gotcha. the ability to play as Peach and Toad in other Mario games. Oh, that's true. That game did uh, not only laying as them, but like how they play different from Mario and Luigi was uh, established in uh, in Super Mario Brothers 2. As Peach's ability to float and Toad being smaller and faster, that was ported straight over to uh, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Like the way the characters control is very much the way they control in Mario Brothers 2. So that that is a good point. Okay, so one more time, fourth one over here. Okay. It's the quickest way there, probably uh, down through here. Oh, damn smiley electro man. Okay, we're good. Ah, damn it. I always get hit by that crap. Ah, let me out! Ah! Stop! Damn it. This is why I took the blue mail, because I get hit by things a lot! Oh! Get away. Uh, this is the correct direction. And... Yeah, because I needed to take the stairs that were all the way down here, right? Right? Right. I know where I'm going, I think. Uh, yes. Give me the money. Give me the money. Show me the money. You took red mail for the no death run? Nice. That was a bit of a challenge. Although, I imagine that, uh, that depending on the situation or your playstyle, the red mail can work out. I imagine the red mail would actually be pretty good for bosses, generally. Oops, crap. So, Jakester, you succeeded in the no-death run, right? I believe I saw that you got the uh, the secret ending. 
I don't know what that is. But I have disqualified myself from it already, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Hadn't had to reset since the third dungeon. Oh. Careful. Crap. Twitter? Yes, I believe I saw that. Okay. <clears throat> Crap. Got the hook shot, finally! Everything is good for Rick! I was about to say Link, but his name is Rick now. Deal with it. Right, I'm gonna equip that right in the heck now. Yeah, look at that! Nice. Alright, let's go get a bunch of stuff. Fun. Oh, I'm sure to. All right. So there's a chest over here. So now I'm just going to be retracing my steps and getting all the stuff. Stupid bats. Pesky bats. Oh, that's satisfying. Money! Yes. You got 100 rupees. You're happy. Get that hundo dollary dues in my pocket. Okay. I don't have a key. There's a door here. There's chests abound. Okay. Let's see here. If I go to the north, then I should be good. Yeah, so another thing that I've been reading lately is I've been uh, catching up on X-Men books. And I've been reading ones, uh, much like Ultimates, I've been reading X-Men books from right after Secret Wars. And the thing there is, oh crap, there's like a time skip of like eight months immediately following Secret Wars. And whereas most, most books, it's pretty easy to follow along what's going on. Like, you know, Spider-Man, before the time skip, he was running... A, uh, a company, um, ooh, bridge. After the time skip, the company was doing really well, so he was, like, spider manning over the whole world, so it kind of made sense. Um, and other books were a lot like that, like Captain Marvel, you know, was Captain Marveling as she was before, um, before the time skip, like, Captain Marvel after Secret Wars picks up when she's become the head of Alpha Flight, like, basically right as she's joining it, so it, um, Starts that, like, even though it's forward in time, you, it starts off being like, and now this is what Captain Marvel is going to do. Whereas the X Men books, after the time skip, was a little bit more confusing. And I think they kind of did that to throw you, like, in medias res. Um, there's a door over there that I should be able to go through. But it was a little bit. Okay, I see how I can get to that. Damn it. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotta go around. A little bit difficult to follow. Maybe that's just because of so many characters and, like, multiple books and multiple teams. But for a lot of it, it was like, ah, crap. It was like, okay, who's who's on what team? Like, who who's doing what? Like, the status quo for Angel has changed a lot, and I'm not sure how or why. Just that kind of thing. Like, they're not bad, but I feel like I'm spending too much of my time uh, trying to figure out stuff that they didn't explain. First time you can hookshot diagonally. Yes, that is definitely a new thing. That's cool. I like it. 
Let's see. So I got all of this stuff. There's one here that's through a stairway. Uh, do I have a key? I do. So I can go... Oh, and I can go... I don't remember how to get through there. Anyway, there's a door there, so... I'll go there next. Might as well grab this as well. Okay. So if I go south and then up and around, I can get to here, probably. I think that's where I need to go. It's an option. Those guys still have like weird piggy noises. It's like they, they oink when you hit them, which I was which I don't expect. Ah! Balls. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Everything's good. Everything is fine. We're doing okay. I went the wrong way. God damn it. I meant to go this way. Ah! Every time. Every freaking time. I'm never not going to get hit by one of those. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I miss something down here? I don't remember if I got everything down this way or not. Blooper. Blooper. Okay. Aha! Yeah, okay. So I missed this here. And this is probably going to be another key, because there are two locks that I need to open. Now that's the boss key. Very good. Like how the rupees look underwater. Yeah, they got like a nice shimmer to them. It's very pretty. This game is very, oh, very pretty in general. Let's see. So, go through that one there. Or I can go through this one here. Well, I might as well go to the one that I was going towards already. See where that leads me. Oh, I can't go this way. God dang. Wait. Where am I? I'm complete. Oh, I'm completely not where I meant to be. That's fine because I needed to dive down there anyway, so that works. I needed to go back there anyway, so not definitely not a waste of time that quest. Right, so I want to go down here, and then here, and here, and here. Oh, there's this over here as well. That's probably the other key. You can use the warp song in dungeons. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. That'll bring me back to the entrance, right? They did mention that. That'll be useful in dungeons that have a warp point, too, because then I can warp back there and get to the warp point. Alright, so... I can get this, then I can get this, and then I can go up and hit this. I don't remember exactly how to get to this one. But it's fun. Oh, look at that wiggly guy. And yes. Almost done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now that I've got this, I can take away their defenses. There we go. Um... Yes, up this way. Careful. Aha, yes, and I can go down that bridge as well. Okay, cool, cool. Things are coming together now. Didn't know you could rip their masks off. Yeah, that's a thing from... Um, I don't think you really need to do it in this game. In Link to the Past, it's pretty necessary. I think there's a boss that you need to do it with in that game. So I remembered it from that game. 
All right, that's another key. It's cool. Good stuff. Can I get anything from these? A bit more health. That'll always help. Am I stocked up on fairies? I am. That's good. Blah. There we go. Stunning tie. Thank you. I like it a lot. I was uh, looking through like different ties and shirts and stuff at Walmart. And this is what I landed on, and I think I kind of love it. So this might be my de facto look for streams for a little while. See how it goes. Okay. Oops. Go through. Ah, get off! Get off me! Ooh, spider monsters. Or tektites, I suppose. Are these tektites or gomas? Yeah, they're more gomas from the looks of them. Because you hit them in the eye, and then you stun them by hitting them in the eye and slash at them. That's more of a goma thing. Yeah, they're gomas. Uh, I grind way too much in Ultimate Alliance 3, so I keep trying to hit the L button to dodge roll out of the way, and that doesn't... that's not a thing in this game. Ah! See, I did it again! These are optional bosses? I mean, I'll take them on. I'm down. I'm not going full completionist on this game, but I would like to do everything in the dungeons if I can. You're thinking of the jumpy things? Yeah, that's those are the tektites. They look very similar to tektites. But they have the weakness of a goma. Which is to hit them in their eye. Yeah, the big bulbous eyeball is a goma thing. Heal me. Okay, so now I can go this away. Ah, get off! Okay, so what's this way? Ah! Boop. Spomp, bomp. Bomp. Nice. Okay, so this leads me here. Awesome, that's where I want it to go anyway. Perfect. Yeah, those were optional bosses, but they led me right where I wanted to go. I, I see how uh, you could totally go around those and not even bother to do them. So, you are the outsider. Come to wake the windfish. <laughs> I shall eat you. Oh, it's a big tail. Oh, he's got a face. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Why does he have a vertical mouth? That looks weird. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hit him in the glowing weak spot. This one's tricky. I think I get. I think I. Ah! Damn. Ah! Jesus! Oh god! I wasn't expecting that. Oh god! Ooh! That was like a little drone or something that he sent out. There's the real one. I can tell from his eyes. Ah! Damn it. There he is. Gotcha. At least the tail can't reach all the way to the edge. That's good. Where is he? Oh, there's a fake one. There you are. Gotcha! Gotcha! Nailed him! You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> what a fool. 
<laughs> Whew. This is where the red mail would have been more helpful. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Jakester, that um in my opinion, it seems like the red mail oh gee, I'm sorry, I was smacking the pop filter into the microphone. Um, in my opinion, the red mail is probably more useful against bosses, whereas the blue mail is probably easier for exploring the overworld. Although you can probably kill a lot of enemies in one hit with the red mail. I just get hit so damn much, the blue mail seems to work for me. <clears throat> and hey, if I'm, if I'm not using my fairies or my life restoration cream, then I will consider that a victory. Also, this totally looks like a, a face right now. It's got like the mouth right in the, like this is the mouth here, and there's a nose, and there's an eye, and another eye. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Beat it quicker than you did. Uh, I'm a bit of a Zelda. I've played a lot of them. I was gonna say expert. I'm not an expert. I'm not that good at video games. I've played a lot of Zelda games, so I'm not bad at Zelda. <laughs> I would hope I'm not bad at Zelda, considering I've played all of them. Take this one. You got the Wind Marimba! Very nice. This is your fourth Zelda game? Awesome! Island secret in the shrine. Okay. Let me just hop up here so I can use the warp. Okay. Let's see. Just have a little bit of time left. Uh, let's go around and pick up some of the stuff. Go to Animal Village really quick. Let's grab a few things. Let's see, so there should be something here. Alright, so to get that one, I think I need to go around here. I think I remember where that is. Ba -ba. Go up here. The old lady with the broom is. Oh, she is too. Weird. these at the same time or something, can't I? There we go. I know the tricks. Bomb arrow, yep. Grab this one. Okay, so I'm pretty good for, uh, for getting around the map when it comes to items now. So I can take this off. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, got a moment. Boop. Alright, so that's that. I don't think there's anything else around here. Okay. Let's see. We'll just go to the middle here. I find it funny you can't stomp on the Buzzy Beetles. Indeed! You don't have the power. Link doesn't have the weight, I suppose. You need, you need a, a larger Italian man to do something like that. Alright. So there's something down hither. There's an area I have not been. Here we 
we go. Get rid of that guy. Oops. This one. Have not been here yet. Start here, go this way. Try again from this. Oh! Interesting. Go this way. Go this way. Ah! No, my way. Go away. Yeah, stupid slimy men. Go this way! Oops! Um... Oh, I can lift. There we go. Stupid. Go this way. Oops, there was a hole. Stop! Ah, hole! So straight up here. This one. Go this way. Go this way! I like this puzzle. This is delightful. Go this way. Go this way. Walk this way. Talk this way. Go this way. Go this way! Oh, hang on. Don't mess up my line of sight. That was great. Pretty sure it's this one. Go this way! Go this way! Great! You did it! Your reward is this way! We did a thing. This is important? Ooh. I stumbled upon a good thing. I mean, it was a new area, so I figured it'd be something. <gasps> we found him, boys. We did it. Work me, old chum. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals. But I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got money. Oh. <gasps> Froggy boys. It's more like a croc in this version of the game. Yeah, it was more froggy before. Yeah, you've been a wonderful audience. No encores. Er you've learned the frog song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. Interesting. If you play this song, you make everything around you feel more alive. Ooh. All right, so is that going to like revive enemies or is that going to be useful for something else? I assume that when the situation calls for it, I will know. Well, that was great. And that's that off the list. There's a hort up here. Also, I'm needing to check back at the village for the next, uh, for the next figure. Gotcha. Really good progress this stream. Three dungeons, counting the color dungeon, and we're gonna get a bunch of extra stuff done. Free next to the phone, you can ram. Okay. I would not have noticed that. Yep, I would never have found that, so thank you, Jakester. Oh, we can also get something at the Seashell Mansion. Okay. I gotta remember to do that. In fact, let's do that now, because I'll, I'll forget about that. Uh. Yes, that's the Seashell Mansion. So, I 
looking at all the songs. Mm, none of them is really closer to this than I am now. I can warp back here anyway. So I'm just gonna go to the mansion. Yeah, it's pretty not that far away. This is a this is a map for a Game Boy game, so it is not all that large. So you don't really need that many warp points on it anyway. The mansion has a warp? I don't know. I must did I not hit it? Yeah, I'm like basically there anyway. Hang on. Let me, let me try let me try. Yeah, no, I'm because I'm, it's not letting me select it, so I must not have found that one yet. Or I was just silly and didn't hit it or something? I don't know. We'll see when I get there, if there's like something I can activate to warp. Um, am I not in the right track here? I like blocked off. Wait, I think I just need to go up and around this way. Okay. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I must have just not hit it. My bad. Got spoders. Those are a little creepy. Missed that one before. Oh, is that it here? Okay. What is this? I don't know what that is. Wait. Let's give this a shot. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Shovel? Oh, duh. Oh, that's prob... Let me guess. The warp? There it is. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I, just, I didn't notice that square before. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, so what am I getting this time? Won't use that song for a while. Yeah, as I said, I figure, I figure I'll know when it comes up. Open. Give me the gift. The gift of... Uh, she sells... Oh, seashell sensor. This will let you know if there's a seashell close by. Okay, well that's pretty good then. That makes it more feasible to actually collect all of them. Ow! Right in the face. Alright, so what else do we have? A spot I can go in the water over here. I don't know if there's really a reason to do so. so. I think I already got in the water over here. So I already got a thing. I can't go under this one, can I? Nope, can't go under that bridge. Alright, so I don't know if, I don't think that's gonna be too much of anything right now. There is something else around here though that I marked off. See, I don't remember everything that I Okay, I think it's just another way to get into the water. So I think I marked those off so I can come back when I have the flippers. I can go up there. Turn this off. Which I think I've already been up here anyway. Yeah, so I've been here already anyway. So unless there's another reason to get in the water, I think we're good. Do you know of another animal village? All right, let me uh, warp back there real quick. We'll see if I've missed it or not. Aminal Village. Okay. 
Okay, so that thing's gonna react if I'm near one anyway. Just next to the desert entrance. Gotcha. Yeah, there's one I missed. Is it just a shovel one? Hmm, what's up there? Can I get up there? I don't know if I can. Oh, play the Ballad of the Windfish? That I would not have guessed. Hey, Zan. How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Mwah. Nope, that didn't do anything for me. Uh, what's the deal here, Jakester? Oh, wait. Does it something to do with this? Inverse here in a desert? No. Okay, so you have to, like, play it a couple of times to get him to come up. That one's pretty obtuse. I'm, call I'm calling slight BS on that one. Ha having to play it multiple times, that that's a bit assy. I don't know how you would have guessed that without uh, messing around forever. Okay, well that's that then. Okay, so what else do I need? Oh, there's some hearts about... I'm gonna grab. You had to Google it? Yeah, that feels like a Google one. I, I probably would have done the same thing, I'm not gonna lie. That That's definitely a, um, a Google moment. Where you, you've got the thing, you're like, I know there's one here, but where? It's kind of dumb. What's up, buddy? That was your last one. Uh, that makes sense. There's no shame in Googling the last one. All right, any new items to buy? Probably not. No, we're good here. Don't. Let's see. Stuff in here, perhaps? Uh, yes, the blooper. Play no. Zant wants to like scratch at the computer screen. I do not want him to. Oh, damn it! Barely hecked up the timing on that one. It's all right. I got it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Son of a... Alright, fine. Well, I got it off the moving thing, so that's fine. You didn't get them all and you hated it. Yeah, I can feel that. Like it. There we go. This should get it. That's a, that's a nice angle on it. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! That is ass! That is straight ass. That is a big load of ass. Heart got me, yeah. Come on. This should do it. Right in the claws. There it goes. Beauty. Stay in there. That's a big enough boy to stay in there. There we go. Sweet. 
Challenge again? Nope, that's all I wanted out of that one. Xant, please don't smack the microphone with your tail. Crane Machine is the highlight of your stream series. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. Besides the Pot Destroyer. Destroyer of Pots. Alrighty. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so, this is probably going to go into one of these. Who's the way, chicken? Okay, so this was the Piranha Plant, right? Yeah. So I'm going to assume that this boy goes into the bigger house up top, because a lot of them are in there. Nope, that's not it. This one here, perhaps? Oh, there's a picture of fish. Pokey, nope. Oh. And those are the two stands in here. House with the phone guy. Oh, okay. I thought he only had one stand in there, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, clearly I am. Wait, the actual phone house or the house with the phone guy? I don't think there's anything in that one. In the back, okay. They tricked me. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Cool. Stand for something. It says blooper. Stick it on there. Place it. Awesome. All right, cool. That was some pretty good progress for today. We got some other spots on the map. We can go to get some other stuff, but I think I'm going to kick off next time by doing that, getting some more hearts, and then we can start making our way towards the next dungeon but that is not going to be next week that is going to be the week after that on the 26th because next week we are going to be doing some marvel ultimate alliance 3 co-op so if any viewers would like to play that have the game i will uh have a command set up that you can get my fr uh, friend code you can add me on the switch and then we can play some co-op on stream so that should be a good time in the meantime i will also be playing a bit of super dragon ball heroes world mission tomorrow that'll probably be on a relatively short chill stream we'll just hang out for a little bit knock out a chapter or two of the side stories in that and uh for now we are going to go see who we want to raid tonight let's see da, da, da. well it looks like mel is playing uh some retro stuff i think she's playing the thing actually right now for ps2 so we'll go say hi to mel that'll be awesome so if you guys don't mind hanging out for the raid and saying hello to mel that would be much appreciated those guys that have the merry hearts from the subscriptions can drop those in there and let's see yeah and if you haven't seen the new video up on the youtube channel it's a weird one so go check it out it's pretty fun and of course be sure to subscribe on the youtube follow me on twitter you can follow me on instagram for cat pictures and all kinds of good stuff but thank you guys once again so much for joining me thank you to jakester for the bits thank you to bogart for the sub thank you to the gift subs and uh until next time true believers Excelsior!